Now, no one likes to have their personal space invaded, so when TSA screeners pull you aside for that full pat-down, it may be an uncomfortable experience, to say the least. Well, News Edge anchor Tom Haynes spoke with a body language expert, Patty Wood, about why airport security doesn't have to be such a stressful experience. In your blog, you, you break down some of the positions in which we may feel the most vulnerable. Go through some of them with us. All right, so in that security, the new scanning procedure, a couple of things that happen is, first of all, you're asked to stand towards the machine with your arms up. And so this is a very open body position. Absolutely. You have what I call windows on the front of your body, the eyes, the mouth, the neck, the heart, the palms of your hands. And you're asked to expose those hold your arms up, you're incredibly vulnerable, and your palms are showing, which normally you do to show I have no weapon. In this case, you're really doing and it And not only show. that, but you have hands all over your body. Absolutely. As soon as you get out of that scanner, you could possibly go through that pat-down procedure. Well, talk to us about profiling, because we've heard a lot about in Israel, they profile people, they don't necessarily have to pat them down. What is more effective, profiling somebody by their body language or actually going through some of these physical security procedures? I think a mixture is always your best bet. So there are things that people that are trained in body language can actually observe to know this person looks suspicious, this person looks fearful, or this person looks like they're going into attack mode. Your body changes, your your facial expression changes, even sometimes your pallor changes. On your blog, you stress. talk about the zero through 18 inch rule. And yes. The difference between Americans and maybe some people around the rest of the world. In America, we don't like people getting in our personal space. We like the 18 inches yes. between us. In Europe, that might be different. Absolutely. In, in our culture, in North America, the sense of space or sense of self is 0 to 18 inches. It extends out from the body. It gets a little bit smaller as you go around the feet, a little bit smaller at the back. That's why we can queue in line. And so when you're talking about being at the airport, forget the 18 inches. I mean, these people are all up in your business. Absolutely. So you can actually reduce your stress level previous to going through security. You can talk to the person in front of you in line, behind you in line. You can talk to those people so your body feels this is safe. This is okay. You know, it's funny, even in romantic situations, it might take a few dates to let somebody get as close to you as these TSA agents, and you talk about some of that in your blog. Yeah, yeah. in fact, they're getting so good at it. If they get any better, they're going to have to ask me out for dinner first. Absolutely. What are some of the things that you can tell the traveling public to empower themselves? Because you say a lot of this happens even before we get into the airport. These defense mechanisms mechanisms go up before we even get near TSA. And so part of it is there's lots of buffet choices, but part of it is seeing this as an ordinary situation, not something to be stressed about. If you haven't seen it, if you don't know what it's going to look like, look at the, the videos on the internet. Make sure you know what it's going to be like so your body won't perceive it as danger. And just stay calm through the process. Breathe deeply, because normally under stress, your breathing goes high in the chest and increases. Breathe deeply, think nice thoughts. Mm -hmm. Actually, that does help you not be stressed out. Are you saying that we need to buck up a little bit as the traveling public? A little bit, because there's a need for increased security. So we can't, if we go angry into the airport about this process, it's not going to be good for your body. It's not going to be good for your health. Patty Wood, body language expert, thanks so much for making uh, what is sure to be a busy holiday travel season a little bit easier. My pleasure. Very interesting. Now, if you or your loved ones are traveling anytime soon and you fear you may get that pat down, here's some perspective. The TSA says fewer than 3% of passengers are being subjected to the added screening. Well, in tonight's news roundup.